dehydrate canned carrots because, believe it or not, Walmart did not have frozen carrots today. So I am going to attempt to dehydrate um, canned carrots for my mother's pet chinchilla. Yes, my mother has an overpriced, overrated furry rat. His name is Dumbo. So I am attempting to make Mr. Dumbo some specialized treats. And I rinse them off very well in the sink. Hence is why they're in the pretty calendar. Calendar, call, calendar, calendar. I rinse them off very well to see if I can remove some of the saltiness. And they actually taste sweet, so I think I got the saltiness off from the being in the I I'm guessing that when they can um vegetables there's like sodium or something on them. That's why so many things say less sodium or whatever. I don't know this stuff. I, I'm i winging life as I go. So I'm going to dehydrate these and some canned beets. Um, so hold on for a minute. We'll pause you so we can put some beets on the tray and then we'll let it dehydrate. Okay, y'all? Oh, by the way, welcome to Jamie's Crazy Life. It's just time consuming to put these on a tray. I'm using one of those... Fancy, smancy little trays that stuff won't go through. We got big ones and little ones. And I'm not I'm not actually gonna cut him any smaller with the big ones because he loves dehydrated beets. The rat does. The dumbo. So we're gonna see what he thinks about carrots when they're done. If he doesn't like them, we can also give them to the birds. We have a couple conyards, so they can have them too as a treat, but they'll probably look at us and think, what are you giving us? Because some of them are a little bit set in their ways. Nobody's ever owned a bird. You learn very fast that birds get set in their ways. My daughter owns a bird that he's just about the meanest little thing I've ever met in my life. and bite your finger off in an instant. Oh, he's just a mean little sucker. Okay, I think we're only going to open one can. I don't know if i got enough trays. We'll see. We'll do beets next, and then we'll do more carrots if we don't use up all the trays. Once they start to dehydrate, the tray will get, things will get smaller in the tray, but I was hoping to get one can per tray. I'm going to look at Publix and see if I can find me some frozen ones, if these don't come out right, because these are really wet. But I guess frozen ones would be really wet. They say frozen because they're like pre- blanched or something before they put them in the freezer and they're really ideal for freezing um i've never done can before but hey that's a learning experience right now people and i will probably check these in the middle of the night but she will have my daughter's using her phone because she had to get a fancy fancy phone this week because her other phone was acting stupid so I won't have her access to her phone in the middle of the night. So you will only get after effect, not during effect. See, one of them smancy thing. It looks like um, a plastic canvas. I wonder if you could use plastic canvas like in a square dehydrator. Do not know. If I had a square dehydrator, I might try it. I might try it anyway. So I might go get me some pieces of plastic canvas from outside we have an art studio and I might actually cut it and see if it works my luck I put it in here I'd melt it but hey you know that's what life is all about trying things almost got them all on now I think I'll put some beets on this tray too I am wondering though if beets are gonna take and put stains on my pretty brand new little trays here But what we do for our pets when we love them, we go out of our way to dehydrate veggies. At least then we know what they're eating. It's like when you kept baby food for your kids. See, I'm just rambling now, y'all. Because my daughter's still sitting here with the phone going. She's listening to me ramble. She likes to listen to me ramble sometimes, I think. Even though I think she thinks I'm crazy. Is that right? Say it out loud. Don't wiggle your head up and down. They can hear your voice if you want to say, yes, mom, you're crazy. 
Maybe sometime you guys will see her. We won't tell her, but I do think she's an amazing kid. <clears throat> but we won't tell her that. She doesn't speak. She can't hear either. <laughs> Alright, that's all of the... the. Those are two... That's really all of that. So I gotta open a can of... I gotta open a can of... Of beets now. You got me right in my face. I gotta open a can of beets now and rinse them off. I love beets. Oh, I love beets. Mm, I love beets. They're one of my favorite vegetables, but nobody ever eats them. My dad used to eat them with me. When he was alive, we'd eat beets together. Now, she's getting these shots of this sink. This sink is scrubbed on a regular basis. It's just, it's one of those stupid plastic sinks that they put in some of these homes. This is like a manufactured home and it is a crappy sink. I might have to cut those in half so he doesn't get a whole big one. Because beets are like, if anybody doesn't know this, beets are like candy to a chinchilla. I mean, he is going to be the happiest little sucker when I give him these. But they're like candy for them. So, I think I may cut some of these bigger ones up a little bit. No red fingertips. She's just going to keep videotaping me. She's just going to keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Ooh, I'm going to cut myself on, on YouTube. Without Let's not draw blood here. If we can all help it. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. We might still cut ourselves. My daughter is so worried, you guys, that I'm going to cut myself. She paused the video to try to get me to use a plate. And I told her, I'll be fine. I do this all the time. Now watch me cut myself just so she can say later, I told you so, Mom. I told you so. Told you were going to cut yourself. So let's hopefully I... <gasps> I'm getting red stuff on my dehydrator, y'all. You see that? I'm getting red stuff on it. It'll probably stain it. I may go ahead and do the other thing of, uh, probably should have done another tray with this, but that's okay. Dumbo's going to be a happy little booger. I need to get. Oh, I got them already right here. Put another one of these up. You guys, that was for her. Now watch my get myself, because, you know, that was for her benefit. You should have seen the look on her face. Like, told you. Now watch me really cut myself. I get got back for what I just did. Oh. I love to mess with my kids. You know, when they were younger, I have a son, too. When they were younger, I loved to get them. I mean, I would go out of my way to, like, stand around the corner and scare them and everything. But my husband always busted me and would warn the kids that I was coming. Well, my son, to this day, he scares the living crap out of me all the time. I don't mess with that boy anymore because he is so good at getting me back. His biggest thing is standing outside my art studio with a flashlight in the window and scaring the weeby jeebies out of me. Always tell him if I ever pee my pants because he scares the crap out of me, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to do him in. This is almost done. And I'm going to cut up a banana. I, my mom reminded me a moment ago that we were going to cut up a banana for the uh, 
chinchilla too. So I think I'll cut up a banana next after I do the next the other thing of a. Uh, what if I just do these beets? <laughs> if it doesn't work out, I haven't wasted another can of beets so I can have them one night. So let me go ahead and peeling a banana. All right, through the magic of videoing, I now have a saucer plate in front of me. It's the magic. It just appeared out of nowhere. So I am going to cut. I don't know how. We'll do half slices because I don't know. I don't know if I should do it. I'm doing it on parchment paper for the moment. I, these are sticky, and I don't know how sticky it's going to be to take it off of the racks, and I don't want to have to scrub them if I don't have to. So we will see what happens with this. This is the same parchment paper I used, and it has no marks on it. I used it for the chicken and the beef, um, but there's no food residue. I probably would have thrown them away if I had, but I stacked them over here and left them on the dehydrator. Um, I will not reuse this one after this. It should smell really good. The smell of warm bananas. And we're all done. I don't know if these are too thick or not, but we'll find out. We will find out. Three trays. Well, no, I got four trays going. So I'll actually be able to rotate them around. <clears throat> When I start this, I've got one half a banana left. I should save this for those chickens, but I'm not going to save it. I'm not going to cut it real fast. I don't have this experience of cutting like a shoe chef or something. And I'm not trying to show off. I'm a firm believer I don't have to show off. Enough stuff happens in my life that I'm entertaining all by myself. I've kept a husband entertained for, um, I think, 30 years. I think that's how many years he's been. He's better at that stuff than I am. I wouldn't tell him this too well, but I'm very lucky to have. The man has let me do my crazy stuff I do. Not that he's let me. He hasn't stopped me. Okay, there's a difference between letting me do what I want and not stopping me. <clears throat> my daddy taught me that I was not to do, not to be submissive to a man, so to speak. I almost got these done. And my daddy was a Baptist preacher, so that's, you know, before anybody does what she, He believed that his daughters could do anything they wanted in life. They did not need a man. He was a good father and a good husband. <clears throat> now again, I'm rambling. And squeeze all these on here. We got one little piece left. Okay. We are on. So, let me wash off my hands real quick here. Okay, hello. Alright, so, let's see. Fruits and vegetables. Okay, we have fruit and vegetables on there. So, I'm going to go with fruit only because it's fresh and the veggies are very, very wet. So 135 is fruits and 125 is veggies. So let's go with fruit. Turn that to 135. And because this is one of those ones you have to plug it in to use it. It has a, does not have it on and off. And I ain't complaining because I like, I, do, I like what it's done so far. I put it on a power search, so I can just turn on the power search. So, again, I do not know how long this is going to take. 
and I am not going to clock it. Because I really don't care. And I know y'all want to know how long, but I live in the middle of Florida, and we have humidity, and we have heat, and it's going to really depend on where you live, on how long it takes, and your altitude and stuff, I'm assuming, I guess, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know nothing in life, I just wing life. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, well, no, I'm saying that back. I'll see y'all later when this stuff is done, okay? So good night, see you tomorrow. The beets and carrots are done. They've been done for a little while. I would say we started this about 11.30 last night, and they weren't done until probably 1 or 2 a day. I mean, these are still a little bit pliable, but they're breaking in half. These are the beets. <laughs> okay. These are the beets and carrots. These are the carrots. Now, the bananas, they're not hard like, well, they're kind of rubbery still. They actually taste really good. I don't know if I should leave them longer or not. I'm going to put these on a bag, in a baggie, and leave, leave them and see what happens. Keep an eye on them, see if they go icky. But, it is my beets. I don't think I need to cut them up next time. I will feed them to him later. I gave him one earlier. I don't think he took it. But he, the thing about chinchillas is they're not, is it nocturnal? Where they sleep during the day and go up during the night. Well, that's what they are. That's what that is. They're nocturnal. <laughs> My daughter's smiling at me like, Mom, you just messed up again. But, okay. They play at night and they sleep during the day. So, Jumbo really doesn't care about this right now. But I'm going to take these off for him. And, um, hopefully he likes it. I probably will not post any more video about whether or not he likes it. I'll probably just put it on my Facebook page. And Instagram, I found out my daughter, editor, most amazing daughter ever, set me up with Instagram today. She has, she'll post it in the description of the video, the link to the Instagram. I don't know this stuff, so if I screw up and say something wrong, it's because I just don't know. But she's going to link it all so you guys will be able to follow me through her. I don't think it stained it too bad. But I'm going to... Probably mix these together because I just am. And uh, so I'm going to say if you like what you see these days on Janie's Crazy Life, like and subscribe. Until the next video. Bye. See you later. So y'all, this is Dumbo, the chinchilla, our overrated expensive little rat. But we love him. So this is why I am dehydrating carrots, beets, and bananas for this little guy right here. Because he's special to my mom. And I kind of like him too.